Hi, this is Richard C. I'm answering a question from a student. Uh, I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant. Uh, this uh, has to do with uh, something called altitude on the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And this is a famous uh, setup. Uh, you'll see this setup over and over, particularly in honors geometry. And we're going to use this setup to prove the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to walk you through that now. I, I did a few steps first before starting the uh, video here. Um, we're going to prove that this big blue triangle is congruent with this little, not congruent, but similar to this red triangle. And so it would be triangle DEF, the big blue triangle, would be similar to the red triangle GED. And I'm going to show you how that works. You can see that the two triangles, the blue and the red, share an angle E. So this angle E is congruent with itself. That's reflexive. And then you can see this right angle here on the red triangle is going to be congruent to the right angle on the blue triangle. And this is because all right angles are congruent. And once you have two angles that are congruent, two pairs of angles that are congruent in tri triangles, then the triangles are similar. So that's what we're doing here. Now when you write the similarity statement, you want to be very careful with it. Make sure that you have the angles that are corresponding to each other. So for example, D in the blue triangle corresponds to G in the red triangle. And then, of course, E in the blue triangle corresponds to E in the red triangle. And then you're left with D and F. So let's just take a look at these dimensions here that we're given. And we're going to move over here to solve X. This will be the leg here. And we're going to say that the leg, which is DE, that's on the blue triangle, you see how that's corresponding to GE? And you can see GE is 2. And now we're going to look at uh, EF, which is the hypotenuse of the blue triangle, which is 8. And you can see that that corresponds to the hypotenuse of the red triangle, ED, which is X. So we're going to get x squared equals 16. Now I'm going to look at this other triangle on the right. We'll call this, we'll put this in green here. So this will be our green triangle here. And I think using the same logic, you can see that triangle GFD is similar to triangle. Now G corresponds to this right angle here, D. And then F corresponds to itself. Oops, I need to change color. So G corresponds with uh, D in the blue triangle. F corresponds with F in the blue triangle. And so D has to correspond with E. Okay, so we'll call this Y here. So you can say that GF, which is 6, corresponds to DF, which is Y. And then FD, which is Y, corresponds to FE. 
which is 8. So y squared is equal to 48. So we just proved that a squared plus b squared equals c squared because 16 plus 48 is equal to 8 squared, which is 64. And so we just proved the Pythagorean theorem using altitude on hypotenuse twice, once for the red and the big blue, and then again for the green and the big blue. And that allowed us to prove the Pythagorean theorem. I have to admit, I've never proved the Pythagorean theorem this way. Um, there are something like a, more than 100 different ways to prove the Pythagorean theorem it being the most famous theorem in geometry and maybe the most famous theorem in math. I hope this was helpful to you, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.